for the sorting part of the lesson today, I'm going to be making use of a website that has playing cards on it that we can move around. The name of that website is listed on the board over there. It's called playingcards.io. Uh, we'll look at that in a few minutes. Go to this playingcards.io site. And we're going to skip all the logging in and signing up business, and we're going to just go to the go to this custom room, and then just say start sample game, and hit enter the room. And you can see it's going to create a little game room for you with some playing cards on it. Now we're going to say that, that the ranks of the cards go two, three, four, all the way up to ten. And then it's going to be Jack, Queen, King, and we'll say that Ace is going to be always high for our sorting algorithms, okay? So the lowest card is a two, the highest card is an Ace, and that's the ranking right there that we're going to use for our sorting. Is there okay. about jokers? Or so what I'm going to ask you to do is go on playingcards.io, get to this room. If you're having trouble, ask your person next to you for help on how to get to this room. And we're going to just deal seven, six or seven cards at the top here to get started. So, so that's going to be our starting position. And if by the sheerest bit of luck that your cards are already sorted, then shuffle them and do it again. I doubt very much that's the case. So you can see my list is unsorted. Imagine that these cards were in an array, okay, in a list, in an array, and they can see it's unsorted. Our job, our goal is to sort the list. We want to sort the list. Later on, I'll show you how to use the array library to sort an array, but we're gonna look at that differently. Today, we're gonna look at a more of a manual algorithm for sorting. In your APCSA, you need to learn three sorting techniques. You need to learn bubble sort, you need to learn insertion sort, and you need to learn selection sort. Also, there's a fourth technique called quick sort, which you don't need to know how to do, but you just need to know how it exists and why it's better than these other techniques here. So let's get started. We're going to learn, we're gonna at least get through the first two, maybe there'll be time we get through the last one. After I demonstrate this, you're going to try and practice, and then I'm gonna ask the TAs to go around the room and check to see if you are doing the bubble sort correctly. So what we're gonna do for bubble sort is we're gonna look at two cards at a time and then we're gonna compare them. So the first two we're gonna look at will be these two and we're gonna ask ourselves the question, is the seven bigger than the ace? No. It is not. So we're gonna swap these two cards like that. Now we're gonna ask the same question for the next two cards, is the queen bigger than the ace? It is not. So we're gonna swap those two cards now. And then we'll ask, is the ace, is the five bigger than the ace? And the answer is no again. So we're going to do that. Then we'll compare these two. Once again, we'll swap. Then we'll compare these two. We'll swap. And finally, we'll compare these two and we'll swap. And you can see that one round is finished, one, one pass. This is called a pass. I finished a pass. After I finished a pass, I am guaranteed to have exactly one card sorted. Which card is that? The final card. So I'm going to turn that card over because I don't need to sort that anymore because I know it's sorted. It's possible that other cards have also fallen into the right positions, but I don't know that. So now I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to ask, is the queen bigger than the seven? Yeah. It is, so I don't need to swap those cards. Is the five bigger than the queen? No, no. so now I have to swap those cards. Then I compare these two and I swap them. I compare these two, I swap them. I compare these two, I swap them. Now I finish the second pass and two cards are now guaranteed to be sorted. So then I go like that. And now I would like you to finish 
this algorithm. There are seven cards. How many passes will I need? I will need, yes sir? Seven. I'll need seven passes, okay? The last pass will just be the one card turning over, but that's basically what we'll need.